As social beings, humans depend on each other to get by. In this video, we'll examine the extreme end of this trait, dependent personality disorder. We'll begin with the formal diagnosis. It requires at least five of the following in a variety of contexts. Crippling indecision about everyday things requiring excessive advice or reassurance from others. Intense fear of the weight of responsibility for their own lives. So we'll place it on others. A struggle to disagree with people because of a fear of disapproval. A lack of self-confidence leading to lack of independent action. Performing actions that are potentially unpleasant for the purpose of getting support from others. The struggle to be alone due to fear of being unable to self-care. Urgent requirement for close relationships. If one ends, another is immediately sought. A preoccupation to an excessive degree with fears of being left alone. Of course, many of us experience aspects of these. It is only a disorder if it causes enough distress to significantly impair function, socially, occupationally, or otherwise. A person with severe functional impairment resulting from these traits truly believes they are unable to manage their lives independently. To that end, assertiveness will seem to them as destructive, fearing that it may alienate the people they depend on. Assertiveness is, of course, just the thing that needs to be built to get this person moving comfortably through the world again. For those who haven't experienced it, it is a scary thought to believe so little in oneself and so entirely on others. How would a person get to be in that position? There's thought to be contribution from genetics and contribution from childhood experience. That's another way of saying some parts nature, some parts nurture. More specifically, parents who are overprotective or, on the other hand, dominating and authoritarian put their children at risk of becoming dependent. Given the importance of the person's close relations to the path of the disorder, it's crucial that these loved ones play a part in the recovery process. Family and couples therapy can help to build safe and healthy relationship dynamics. And with that, assertiveness can be earned and independence regained. Hit subscribe if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.